All right, welcome to Sun City 104.9 FM and also Sun City TV. We are here with Passion Minor. Yes, hi. Yes. For those who don't know, and I don't know who that is, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are the daughter of the famous Sugar Minor as well as in your own in your own way, yeah. you have contributed significantly to the music as well. Let us know exactly what being here, how important is that to you in terms of support for Luton and Stitching? It's very important, you know, being a musician, you know, this could happen to any of us. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up listening to Luton and Stitching. Fun. My sister, big, big fan of Luton and Stitchy. You know, we go back and we watch the YouTube videos. Even before this happened to you, know, we're always just reminiscing on Stitchy's energetic performance, you know, because on stage, I am very energetic on stage myself. And, you know, people like Stitchy, you take bits and pieces of him and put him to yourself, you know. So Luton and Stitchy is one of that person, like the energy that he brings to the stage and, you know, his lyrics. Um, so look up to so it meant everything, you know. I had a lot to do today, but I had to be here. It was traffic and rain, and I'm like, may I go? You know, so it means everything, you know, as a musician, you know, just showing support to our peers. In recent times, you know that you have had a lot of well, the last three years have been you know, so rough, you know, I've lost uh, my nephew David Minor to drown, and, and then Peter um, Lindalemite, who was a very close friend of mine, so the last three years have been so rough, I don't think it's something that you can pass, I couldn't say I recover, especially for my children's dad. Um, that's rough, you know, because when they cry, I cry. Same way, you know, in the last week. If they call and say, Mom, you know, it, it's new for them. I mean, I lost my dad, so I know exactly what they're you know, losing a father. So it's rough. It's, it's not something that you get over, you know. Sometimes I sit and think of it like, why, you know, you don't really want to question God. And, you know, Peter told me that, yo, just hold firm, you know, that those were one of the last words he said you know and because he's very positive and, and just being different you know it's like he's always with it, so I use that to just you know strengthen myself and I can't get me because if I get me the girls get me so I always have to show that strength so they can say that I'm strong even when I'm having my weak moments I don't show it to them because I want them to you know just be hopeful and I think your dad would be proud of what you're doing you know graduating college and just doing great because they're doing great and, and i have to keep saying to them like daddy's with you and daddy's watching you know he's seeing this so it's not something that you recover from it's something that you just learn to live with it's, it's great to see the support that you know for those in the music industry who came out today you know to you know, support Monte Killer and shaggy in terms of the, the um, in your words do you think there needs to be more unity and support amongst artists because they treat them with the Yes. For a lot of us, you know, like I said, um, we look for Stitchy, you show us how to do it, you know what I mean? I think that um, we as musicians, entertainers, we need to come together more and support each other because more time we just criticize, you know, or you might hear a rumor, just like you heard his wife said, he was never in a, yeah, right, in a coma. Right. And when I first saw that, you know, everybody was like, oh my God, you know, because we run with it, the media, mm -hmm run with it so we run with it and just hearing her say that you know you can't really follow everything that you see in the media so yeah i think that we as you know musicians we need to come together more and support instead of seeing our little corner we talk this and we talk that are just like rodney said people say oh a man like sitting you know, up have money but being sick for years and years you know medical fees come on so we just need to support each other more and one other thing I'd like to ask is that in terms of, of music foundation, uh, you said Stitches you know, taught you all how to do it. I know that he would have been close to your dad because he would have been on your dad's sound system at some stage. Do you think that uh, 
we need to come out and honor the foundation more, not only when they are up, you know, when, when they are not so. That's a good question, you know, because on a daily basis, you know, when I do social media or me just being in the street, people would be like, oh, your father don't get honored, you know? Sugar mine at like who did so much work, oh, yes. you know, oh, with yes. his youth and promotion label and just helping others. He has never been honored in Jamaica. We have a lot of accolades, a lot of awards, but not from Jamaica. He has so much awards, but not from Jamaica. And even before he passed, you know, that was something that bothered him. You know, it's always just so cool and easy, but you know, me being his daughter, we would sit and have those conversations like he would be like, yo, them remember me or and I said, Daddy, I'm not the man. The real people, them know the work that you put in. But oftentimes, I would see him get like kind of dumb, you know, because even people who he brought into the music, they're being honored. Yeah. Who he brought, you know, he's the teacher, they're the students, and they're being honored. So I'm like, what's up with sugar mine? I did, and, and oftentimes people said to me like, if they don't honor your father, and he already did 40 years in music before he passed. I already did 40 years, you know, and just like just here waiting. But I would say my father was working for the Almighty and for people. Anything that he did, he genuinely did that from the heart. So he's, if he's gonna give you something, it's from the heart. It's not even for show or for him to post up and say, oh, I just gave this or I just gave that. You know, everybody know that about sugar. He just genuinely give from the heart. Those artists that he helped, he never signed them. They owned the masters. He was just doing it for them. So I think that they should honor. The, you know, even with Bouncy and Dini the other day, we were so elated to see that because they're still alive, they're still living. And I thought that was great. You know, they got it right. So we did. If Stitchy wants to hear you know what we did like to say I just like to tell him that we love him. And we appreciate him. You know, probably him don't know that. You know, but we love him and we wish him speedy recovery. He's in our prayers. Thank you very much.